Hey guys, welcome back to the Temple 420 Bible Study and Torah Tour. Here we go. The fire, the wood, the oxygen. Is it H2O or is it 4-2-O? Wake up, mercy, love. Jesus came to wake up Lazarus. He's now in aroma. We have to breathe the incense and perfume. It brings joy to the heart. At that point, it reminds God of his son. And once you become his son, and then you realize, okay, I really want to be with you, Dad. You actually recognize the aroma of your father of El Kana Bossum. Kana Bossum. God of cannabis, right? God of his son. So, the French, with frankincense, as we travel over to France real quick, French, Frank, same word, C, H, or K, or C for incense, France, French, Frank, Frank incense, at that point you have the money system. So it's really how interesting how the words transfer over, but going from these languages to Hebrew, I found the thread. It's through the air, we need new air, which is adding fire to wood and trusting that cannabis is actually the air we breathe. Because in the beginning of John 1, it says everything that was made was made through him and in him is life and everything has life in him. At that point, he is the air. But for those that obey, we actually have new air and we serve God internally in the temple. And that's what I'm explaining to you guys. There's your intro. See, I'm doing a new thing, providing water in the wilderness, streams in the wasteland to give godly intoxicated drink to my chosen people. But here's the jealousy. You have not called on me, Jacob. You have not wearied yourselves for me. You have not worked every ounce to seek my kingdom first, per Jesus says. And it says now, we're going to talk about the offerings, which were daily, which is the book of Leviticus. And here's Numbers 28. It literally says, Be scrupulous to feed me my food for my offerings for my fire. At that point, the Lamb of God, the Lamb of the High Alpha, Lamb to Chi Alpha, which is the initiation. I won't give it away, but I will. The lamp is either on or the lamp is off. And I can't tell you. Actually, I can. When that lamp went out for me in my initiation into Lambda Chi Alpha, I utterly broke down. Tears. Heartbroken. Crushed. Like I've never been crushed before. You work so hard for something. And then you say the wrong thing and whew, they blow out the candle. Oh my goodness, that's exactly out of this book. Jesus Christ says, five will have oil. Five won't. I've got the oil. It's the oil of joy. It's hemp. You want to see an oil field on fire? Look at the sun. Oh my goodness, the earth is the Garden of Eden. It's the plant. It's the vegetation. We are the plant life. We are plant food. We can eat ourselves. If we burn, breathe the air that we create ourselves, which is cannabis. And that is all of what we're trying to do and perceive. That's why I perceived it and explained it. So to finish the video, we're going to finish with a longer video. Because I want to actually get this out of the way. Because we're going to finish up Isaiah 43. You guys ready to go long? Good, we're going to go long. Right at 420, we go long. It's a stop and go. <laughs> you have not brought me sheep for burnt offerings. Now the sheep stink, but the offering of the aroma of the burnt offering, that is the aroma of the branch. That's the aroma of Jesus. Nor honored me with your sacrifices. Honor your father and mother... <laughs> which is exactly what it says in the Ten Commandments. And then, if you get to Proverbs, incense and perfume bring joy to the heart. 
pleasantness of a friend. And then it says, don't forget your mother's teaching. So there's a lot involved with this branch that no one has any understanding, but I have great understanding. Why? It's through revelation and everything that happened to everybody else in this book on their calling totally happened to me and I'm totally aware of it and I'm trying to share it with you guys. At that point, I'd like to meet somebody else who wants to open up both books and believe that they're incorrect. Or the, the Greek is actually translated purposefully incorrect. You don't remove a name consistently unless you're doing it. You don't drop a dot and consistently do it. You don't change Emmanuel's name to Jesus Christ without actually changing it to a Greek God named Jesus. So, there's only one God. Jesus serves him only. Listen to what Jesus says. And then go, oh my goodness, he has a father. Doesn't Jesus say all the time, I am the son of God. Doesn't God say, I am he. I'm like, he's a little possessive about his position. And he doesn't give his glory to others. He's not going to share his bong with anybody else who doesn't like to share his bong. So with that, as we go along, we might go 1240. We're going to go 1240. At the six minute mark. 620, we're gonna go 1240. <laughs> Listen again. You <coughs> hold my head high. Memory. Oh, that's right, I'm made from you. You wanna be served in the temple. Oh, thanks for reminding me. Daily. Daily reminder, daily offering. They're one and the same. You want to repent in sackcloth and ashes for the kingdom of God is here? Repent in hashish for the kingdom of God is hash. Cannabis. A little drum solo there. Sorry, anyways. So... We'll finish up the video at 1240. And he, the jealousy of, again, of God. You have not called on me, Jacob. You have not wearied yourselves. You have not brought me offerings. You have not sacrificed anything to me. I have not burdened you with grain offerings, which is the grain. Go back and look at Genesis 41. That's the grain. Look at the menorah. It's the same description as the cannabis plant. Excuse me. Three, three, and one. And then you have the grain is seven. And at that point, you have the seventh month and the fifth month of fasting. You have the plant in palm shape. And then you have the plant fully, fully born. So, I have not burdened you with grain offerings. I have not wearied you with demands for incense. Oh, he doesn't have to weary me with a demand for incense. I, I demand I bring it. I demand I bring it to you, king. My God, Hashem. See the ownership that I actually literally take as I go deeper into this video? You, he says to me, I read this three and a half years ago. When I learned that we have, here's the thing. I learned that we have an entire system of cannabis called the endocannabinoid system. It saved my life when I stopped smoking pot secretly away from my family, even though I was getting caught being an idiot lying. Stop lying. But it showed based on my blood transfusion I had third time, three months later, I was like, my third blood transfusion? 10 years of being fat and sick, and now I look like this? Your branch is awesome. I'm not going to doubt you at all. And that's why it says, don't doubt. Be courageous. Be strengthened, right, Joshua? So, when it says, burnt offerings and sacrifices, I have no more diseases, and I have no more weight, because he washed it all away. There, I gave it to you before, now let's hear what he says. You have not bought any fragrant calamus for me or lavished on me the fat of your sacrifices. Now I said that to my wife. And she said, well, ironically, she said, well, God would never say buy me pot. I'm like, well, of course not. Because if we said that, we'd all buy a pot, right? Oh, maybe not. Because I've actually challenged people and they don't believe it's true. So even if God says it like this, and he uses the Greek word calamus, do we believe it's true? But if it's fragrant and it's perfume and incense and it brings joy to the heart and it's cana blossom, then it's buds and blossoms from the menorah. So it says here, 
You have not bought any fragrant calamus for me or lavished on me the fat of your sacrifices. Lavished, lave, fat, burn, wash, clean inside of your cup. The cup of salvation comes from the Jews. Turns out I'm Jewish. Here's your cup. It's in bong shape. You're going to have to burn the tree, not eat it, but breathe it. That's what the book's telling us. That's what the book tells me. That's what the book says. But if you don't do that, you burden him with sins. Because you don't honor him, therefore you don't give him any reverence. You don't really understand how great Hashem, the one and only the king of Israel is. And we, he gets tired of all of our offenses. But the moment we believe in his branch, he says, great, welcome to it. And you get a big hug in your heart. And the feeling of love enters your body. And it is not just because you called out the name Jesus and you became a Christian. You actually have to do what it says. Spread the aroma of the knowledge of the tree of life. Because if you remember in Genesis, Adam and Eve ate from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And Jesus in Hebrews says, only when he was old enough to know the difference between good and evil, he was eating curds and honey. So something about kene and bosom and your heart and how do you get to God's heart, I found out, through his stomach. How do you get to a man's heart? Through his stomach. All of the puns exist because God is part man. So my whole relationship with God is not dating somebody for their looks, though they wither, and then it becomes an intellectual conversation, which then it separates my family and I. But I said the other day, and here's my big revelation. I'm like, I don't care what you effing look like, dude, or dudad. I don't care. You could have four heads. And I'm like, oh, wait, an ox, an eagle, <laughs> a human, and a lion. You do have four heads. And then you have four heads. And then you have a four headwind. But I said, I don't care what you look like. I love you for your mind. And I am one after his own heart because now I protect it. So, I even I am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake and I have no memory of getting hit by a car. But now I proclaim his goodness all day in the temple of God. Baruch Hashem. God bless.